Hey guys, we are back with some more Carolina GM mode, and I apologize for the audio issue last episode. Uh, that was uh, <laughs> that was embarrassing to say the least. Um, it was uh, it was something with my uh, capture cards uh, software. The, um, the the they set the automatic uh, microphone to be my laptop's um, uh, my laptop's microphone from the. Uh, from the uh, what's it called the webcam and uh, so that's why my voice was all you know faded out and stuff for sounded like I was far away because <laughs> I was I was uh, I actually when I record I actually have my laptop just sitting on my uh, uh, desk and then my and then I'm over on my bed <laughs> uh, playing the Xbox so uh, but yeah uh, I'll try not to let that happen again, and I did double check <laughs> this time the default mo uh, microphone uh, just to be sure. So, but I just want to get this. Uh, I honestly just want to get the season done with. I mean, it's season ten, uh, so we're just gonna kill the rest of the season um, in one recording. <laughs> uh, I mean, not the playoffs, but you know, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Let's uh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna kill the rest of the season here because <sighs> um, I want to move on to uh, other things uh, like I just downloaded uh, Metro 2033 I think it's called or 2033 uh, so I, I want to do that because it looks uh, pretty interesting I know that's again I know that's not hockey related and the, the main uh, series on this channel is going to be still going to be hockey but I, I want to uh, you know bring some other content besides hockey because i mean gm mode is getting a little old uh because and this is also going to be the last gm mode on uh, nhl 15 because you know um nhl legacy is so close so we are gonna uh we're gonna start a new gm mode on a on the nhl legacy which uh speaking of which if i didn't say this last last episode or if you didn't hear me um the four teams i'm considering for uh, the first NHL Legacy GM mode are Vancouver, St. Louis, Anaheim, and Chicago. So uh, feel free to, uh, t uh, ask me about those or, or uh, t tell me about those in the comments, uh, wh which one I should do. Um, and again, that's not going to happen until uh, NHL Legacy, but just, uh, just giving you guys a heads up. And also I want to get into more... Uh, he said hockey manager, which is basically like a, a real in-depth version of uh, NHL 15, except just much overall simulation wise, much better, much, much better. Um, besides the, the, the occasional game where you could score like 12 goals um, and keep in mind EHM is all simulation. There's no uh, gameplay. Uh, it's just all looking at a simulator, uh, but it's it's very in depth and it, like if you like the GM mode series, then you'll definitely I, I have a feeling you'll definitely like this. So uh, once that uh, series is back up and running, go check that out. Actually, I have I have three episodes of it up right now, and since it takes a lot longer to get through the simulation in that game, we're only gonna do five years of that instead of ten years um, because. I can get through a simulation in this in like an hour, and a simulation in EHM takes about five or six hours for one season. <laughs> so it's uh, it's a lot of in-depth, you know, good stuff though. It's it's really good stuff. Like we may be able to get through a month in one video. Like that's that's how uh, that's how uh, long it takes. But don't be you know don't be. Um, alarmed by the uh by how long it takes um because it's very you know it's it's based off of you know statistics and all, all the, it just you'll see it when you watch it it's it's much more in depth than NHL 15 is like you hire coaches uh, or really any staff you can you can become the general manager of uh of of a national team you can like the possibilities are almost endless in uh, in that game, so I I really suggest checking it out uh, on my channel. And also, if you want to play along, uh, it's fifteen dollars on Steam, I believe. And if you don't know what Steam is, 
Uh, just search for uh, steampowered.com, I think it is. Could be wrong about that. I'll leave a link in the description. And I completely forgot what we were scouting, but we don't need to scout anyway, so let's just keep moving here. Two, three, four, five, six, okay. And I know this episode has just been me, you know, uh, uh, mumbling and about uh, <laughs> things that are going to happen on the channel, but just letting you guys know. Uh, rather, you know, just rather than me uh, commentating, actually commentating on what's happening in the video, but I think this is more, uh, a bit more important at the moment. <laughs> um, and uh, I also want to get uh, maybe a Nintendo series out. I'm pre pretty big uh, Nintendo fan as well, so I uh, want to get uh, something like that out as well. Uh, so we're going to have, uh, it's going to be a pretty, bu pretty busy August, uh, if I can uh, manage it. Because uh, this week is my last week at work, which is, uh, and it's actually, it's, uh, it's a kid's uh, summer camp that I'm a counselor at, and I get paid, yeah, I have, you know, minimum wage job, but uh, it's, this, this week's the last week, so hopefully I'll have a bit more time um, after my job ends to uh, record more. But uh, it looks like we're on a winning streak here. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't have the greatest record uh, in the video, and, I, and now I think since the video started, we've only had two losses. <laughs> so just keep it going, boys. And when did we end? In, like, uh, December? We started in... December in this video? Yeah, I think so. Uh, ooh! Not a good loss there against the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, and uh, just trying to think of what else I can uh, say about the channel. Uh, ooh, we got a trade offer. Re Boucher. Uh, for... Hmm. I mean, we don't really need Boucher. So we're just gonna we, we're just gonna keep our whole team together, and look at this this, this second line, uh, Rantanen with 40 assists and Vertanen with 31 goals leading the team, both of them. Wow, like I don't know how they're getting it done more than the first line is. I mean, they're the first line's getting more time than the second line, as far as I'm aware. All the first line is on the uh, first power play and the first. Uh, Five on five lines and <laughs> whatever. I, I mean, I, I you don't question the logic of NHL 15. You just don't. You, you don't question EA logic. Like you're, you're just gonna end up frustrating yourself. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, just look forward to uh, EHM though. That's a really uh, like it's it's a really enjoyable game. Like once you start. Once you start playing it, there is no going back. Uh, it, like, it's pretty much goodbye life. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding. But uh, yeah, it's pretty addicting. It's uh, it's fun. And uh, ooh, another trade. Ooh, who's this guy? Uh, edit trade. Second line forward and a third line forward. For an a for two HLers and a first. Hmm. Let me. I'm not gonna add anyone here. I'm just gonna check what our lines are looking like. Eh, we don't need a second liner. We have our second lines f are pretty much filled out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. We could use. Uh, Third liner, though. What's this guy looking like? 81 overall. I don't like the poise or the physical. Nah. Nah, we don't need him. I mean, as much as, you know, I want to try to get rid of this first round pick. Uh, no, nah, we don't need that. No. Although I would, uh, I do want to try to get rid of this uh, pick here. Maybe for a... Uh, Solid uh, fourth line forward to really just 
because, uh, I mean, Takano's nice and all, but he's, eh. I mean, he's doing the job defensively. He's got a plus plus rating. <sighs> that poise, though. Um, yeah, we're going to try to get a defensive forward here for the fourth line. Uh, Tang. Who's this guy? Uh, playmaker, nope. Two-way forward, nope. Uh, <laughs> Three-star defensive category. Maroz. Grinder, nope. Jeez. Uh, not Pittsburgh, San Jose. Two-way forward, nah. No, that's a really weak defensive category there. Amigo. Nope. Jeez. Oh, there's the CPU guy. Cliff. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Boucher. No. St. Louis. Man, these teams really don't have. Uh, Deep, uh, deep rosters and uh, at forward anyway. Uh, Drew Shore. Hmm, he might not be bad. <laughs> he doesn't have any playoff experience in the past few years though, or at all maybe. He's kind of minus rating. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like to see that on a defensive for on a defensive forward. Uh, Arizona. Nope. This says Perlini's from Great Britain. Is he actually from uh, Great Britain? That's interesting. I thought he was from uh, North America. Henrik Samuels and now. <laughs> Man, these rosters are really. Ugh. He's brutal. Wait, didn't I just. Uh... More. Nope. Is there any good... Hold on. You know what? Instead of going through all these teams, let me... No. No, no, no. Stop the sim. Stop the sim. Okay. Uh, let me check the trading block. I want forward. Veteran forward. Defensive category, at least that high. Physical category, at least that high. Senses, five star. That might be asking a bit much. But let's see. Yeah, no. Alright. Uh, maybe boot, get that senses category down. Nope. Alright. Uh, get the senses category out of there. Nope, really? Uh, we'll expand the age range then. Alright, so... <laughs> of course, 87 and 93 overall. Uh, the the New York Rangers guy though that we got offer. Ooh, that was a really good defensive category and physical. Ca mm. You know what? I mean, I don't like his poise, but still, he's better than uh, Tikhanov on the fourth line. I mean, an 87 on uh, on the uh, on the fourth line. Dear God. You know what? I'm doing it, boys. <laughs> let's let's go for them. So obviously they wanted the first, right? We're gonna. All right. Um, we probably give them to Konov. Although he'd probably be like an injury guy for us. I have a feeling in the playoffs. Spalling still on the team? Wait, is this scratched or is he actually still playing? Um, nah, he's scratched. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll put Spalling in there. Why not? I mean, 
Adds a little bit to it. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, you know what? Let's see if there's any prospects we can add because we don't need them at this point. Uh, Philip Parise. Yeah. Sure. Unsigned. Got a decent uh, trade value to him. I would love it if the Rangers could uh, retain some of the some of his cap as well. Yeah, let's make them retain uh, some of his cap. You know what? They could have this guy as well. Why not? I mean, we don't need any prospects at this point. Uh, I mean, it's kind of not helping the team for the future, but it's helping us now. Uh, let's see if we can get them to retain a million in cap because we're uh, s uh, sending them spalling. So let's see. Perfect. All right, so <laughs> we really bolstered our team now. I mean, <laughs> if we don't win the Stanley Cup now, I mean, that's going to be a huge disappointment. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> uh, coaching options, edit lines. All right, so it's probably going to be, yeah, it's going to be Tikhanov coming out. And Heikinen back in. Look at that, boys. <laughs> that is filthy. That is filthy. Uh, I should probably add him to the belly kill. He had a really good uh, category there. But who do I replace? Probably Karnakov. Uh, yeah. Is he good face-offs? Eh, he's not bad. What about Vert Yeah, Vertanen's better. Put him in the center there. Uh, you know what? I'll put uh, him on the three on three, or uh, not three on three, three man penalty goal. Uh, we'll leave four on four the way it is. And actually, I want him. And aren't Valentini? Yeah, they're on the same line. I'll just leave Kronakov. Yeah, Valentini and uh, all these guys. Man, look at this top. Look at this top nine. This is filthy. All right, so that's out of the way. I believe we end the scout here. Let's see. Oh boy, New York Rangers. Let's see how he uh, how he does against his former team in his, uh, in his first game. As a Carolina Hurricane. There you go. Nice game. Ooh. Lost against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, wait a minute. One week. Nope. Don't want that. Don't want it to interrupt me until the end of the season. Six weeks. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six. That'll take us up to April 8th, which should be almost the end of the season. Uh, there, there's like, I think I saw maybe two games after that. Man, what is going on? We need to uh, <laughs> get going here with this uh, new roster chemistry. There you go. Nice one. May have destroyed the chemistry a little bit on the third line, but uh, you know what? That was about it. And if the penalty kill took a hit, then I'll put uh, Karnakov back on there. It'll be no big deal. Two shutouts in a row. There you go. Uh, no trades. We already made our. We already made our blockbuster trade. An 87 overall on the on the third line. Jeez. That is how deep our team is, boys. I mean, of course, we uh, pretty much gave up our future, uh, part of our future for him. But you know, uh, but it's year ten; it's the last year that I'm GM. <laughs> I, I should be. I pr I should probably be better about that in the future, though. Uh, <laughs> especially uh, 
in NHL legacy. Just uh, even you know, even with uh, end of the series trades, like not trading away the future and whatnot, so that uh, the teams can uh, have a better future uh, even when I'm not there. <laughs> But uh, you know what? That was uh, that was a good trade. He was uh, he's only 26 years old, so uh, Carolina will be able to use him for a while. I mean, the whole team is pretty much in their prime, so they still got a uh, like at least a good, another good five years out of this core. Maybe not out of some some other guys, but the the main core is uh, all set in place. For a nice long run in Carolina. I regret nothing <laughs> about that trade. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely be more careful about that in the future. For Tannen with 40 goals already. And Rantanen with uh, 53 assists. Kucherov's plus 33. Very nice. And Scott Smith with 41 wins. And let's not forget Aaron Ekblad's 96 penalty minutes. <laughs> oh man, I'm starting to lose my voice. I can hear it. <laughs> How long have I been recording for? Uh, let's check the time. 21 minutes, alright. Yeah, hopefully this will be uh, another month of simulating and we're, uh, we'll all be done with the regular season. Okay, uh, it's really, it's really hot up here. Like I have to have a fan pointing at me, uh, pretty much all day. Otherwise, I immediately start sweating. All right, so regular season probably ends there. Like it's not even that hot out today, and. <laughs> it's probably because I'm right out, right above the garage and my room's insulation isn't too great either. Alright, so we ended the season with 56 wins, 16 losses, and 9 overtime losses. That is pretty darn good. <laughs> I think that's the best we've been. We may as well upgrade the uh, assistant coach. Why not? And, uh... Hold on, let's, let's check out the statistics. Yeah, I think... Yep, that was by far our best season. 121 points. Wow. Um, hopefully we can make that a third one cup. Let's check out the stats for the team and the players. We'll check out the AHL too. Why not? It's the last video of the regular season of NHL 15. Uh, all right, so Lindholm, 72 points. So, huh? Okay, so Vertanen was leading in goals. Rantanen led in assists. But Lindholm and Karnakov are leading in points. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> uh, and then Kucherov's above uh, Vertanen. Vertanen's only, only got 19 assists. Wow. And he had a 42 goal seat. What a what a sniper! What a sniper this guy is. <laughs> he may be listed as a two-way forward, but to me, he's a sniper. <sighs> and uh, goaltenders, let's see how we. Yep. Good as usual. Eight shutouts for <laughs> Scott Smith. Dear Lord. An assist for both these guys. Let's check out his uh, career stats here. Uh, 441 career games, 248 career wins, and 44 of those wins were shutouts. 68 per career playoff games, 43 of those games were wins, and 12 of those 43 wins were shutouts. Whew, what a stud. Alright, uh, oh, before I forget, before this, uh, gets, gets off my mind. Let's uh, change the injuries and goalie rotation. 
on and off. I know this is a long video, boys, but uh, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Alright, uh, team standings. So we won the President's Trophy, very nice. I mean, I would expect that with 121 points. Goals for per game, 3.33, first in the NHL. Goals against per game, 2.16, first in the NHL. Uh, power play percentage, 21.2, sixth in the NHL. Penalty kill, 86.2, tied for first in the NHL. Jeez. And last 10, 10 0, 0. Very nice, boys. Very nice. Not a thing to change going into the playoffs. Now let's check. Let's check who we got in the first round. Uh, oh, we still have one more game. Did I see that correctly? Yeah, I did. All right. <laughs> I, I thought that was. Uh, I thought uh, that Buffalo was the last game of the season. Oh, okay. <laughs> one more game. Wow, that really caught me off guard. I I'm so tired today. I don't even know why I drove to work. Uh, three and four. Okay. So, <laughs> this is our fi this is our final record: fifty-seven, sixteen, and nine. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see. Uh, the stats should have said uh, eighty-one games played. I guess I, <laughs> I guess I really am just kind of tired today because uh, I did not see that. What? So okay, yeah. Now, now it's eighty-two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's the final season stats. I'll go through it one more time. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh man, that's such a huge mistake. And our NHL team is not making the playoffs, but that doesn't matter. NHL is what matters. And we have the Ottawa Senators. Who are 40, 34, and 8. Let's check out the, uh, the, uh, the Ottawa Senators. Uh, Ottawa. So they have Kyle Turris, Mikis Banjad, and Cahoon. Uh, besides their first line, they're really not looking too good. And, well, I mean, their, uh, second line's pretty good there, too, with, uh, Fontaine. But the rest's not really... Third line's decent. Uh, they have Klimchuk, Fontaine, Nieto, Roach, <laughs> Sterk, and Mautry, uh, Kirkland, Wingles, and Slight. And then defense, Eric Carlson, uh, Stencil, Cowan, Lalonde, Bogo, and Klimi. I don't know how to pronounce I'm not going to even try. <laughs> and then Leonard and Keefe. So really no... Besides the Benajad, Fontaine, and Carlson, there's really no, um, and, well, Turris, there's really no threats on this team at all. I mean, they, they have a deep, they have a deep defensive core, go, but don't get me wrong, and their goalies are good, but they're, but are they good enough, so, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens in the next video, and I'll see you guys later.